welcome good evening good peoples <laughs> yeah she's a little short let me bring it down <laughs> hello we, hello we are outside brutorium um and i stumbled across this place and to be honest i think it is what is the heart and breathing soul portion of austin when it comes to what a good time they have to offer this brutorium of course it's a brewery and it has great food so we're gonna go check out everything that they have now Baby's, you guys can see me <laughs> yeah babe's hungry i'm hungry we're gonna get it done <laughs> Welcome everyone to another Something Good Sundays and welcome to Brutorium. It's been a long time coming for me uh, traveling down to this spot right off of Airport Boulevard. I see it every time I used to go to work um, and then we still kind of drive down that area so uh, you always would see it at that stoplight and I was like I'm gonna go by there and visit it and I'm glad I did. Uh, they took care of us. Um, we enjoyed it pretty much everything that they had on the menu so sit back relax and enjoy this something good Sunday oh and before I go thank you to all those who have subscribed and continue to help motivate us on this something good Sunday if you haven't already go ahead and click that button down there in the bottom subscribe and make sure you stay tuned to all of our videos coming up All right, guys, we have attempted to order. Uh, there's a lot on their menu. Um, as I was saying earlier before, that this is a spot that has pretty much uh, the heartbeat of Austin. So there's food, and there's wings, there's sandwiches. They have a, a German style type of pizza dish. And um, it was just so much on their menu. We didn't really realize what to order at the time. But we ordered we'll like a sampler. Almost, what is it called? Yeah, so we ordered a smorgasbord. Sorry about yes. the noise in the back, but yeah, we ordered a smorgasbord, which is gonna come with sausage, onions, uh, pretzels, a little bit of combination of everything they have. Um, but for starters, we just got that. And I asked her to give me something that she recommended and she gave me an Indian Pale Ale, which I think is gonna be great. Uh, I'm good with that. Now guys, you know I do not drink beer. Of course. So her thing is, let me give you something sweet with berry. It's a berry me. <laughs> Cheers, babe. Okay, guys. It's not bitter. It doesn't have an aftertaste. Let me try it one more time. I think I just really. How's get ready to say bingo? We've made an, another another match. It's smooth. I can definitely get another one if I wanted to. <laughs> But that's, I like it. That's good to hear because again, the last thing that she ever tried and probably the only thing I think she ever liked was that Aviator's pizza, so. Yeah. Brew. But I wanted to say really quickly before Bay gets into his thing, is that every brewery that I go to, it's always just a whole bunch of beer. You may get an appetizer, you may not. Yeah. Majority of the time. Yeah. But this place here has a variety of food to choose from. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have burgers, you have pizza, you have pretzel bites. I mean, there's so much on their menu. Yeah. And um, the first thing we're going to try, we'll definitely let you guys know how that tastes. But. Of course. I'm actually waiting on a smorgasbord. I'm trying to decide if I want a sandwich or I want their wings. I may just get mm -hmm. some wings and a sandwich so that we can have the best of both worlds. And uh, I think it'll be great. Now, um, this is an open environment. I have seen kids here, oh, so yeah. it is kid friendly. Um, they do open earlier in the afternoons on the weekends, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, mm -hmm. I will definitely put a link down below where you can pull up the entire menu and see <clears throat> what they have to offer because I think personally it's 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 a good spot. Um, it's very welcoming. That's one thing I can yes. say. A lot of the breweries we go to, it's like you know you know what you want or they expect you to know what you want so come in and hear exactly it was very friendly and uh, very welcoming so yes. you know thank you to the staff and and their great hospitality that they have right now so definitely on point yeah. definitely on point um i must say i again i saw this drink they had like a while ago yeah and it was literally it had berries and strawberries mm -hmm. it caught my attention yep so when I get here, she's like, I'm so sorry, we no longer have that. But mm -hmm. I have one that's um, kind of similar to what we did have. Yep. And um, since they actually brew, 
their own beer here. I will personally tell you that it is always good when you have a place that you tell them you want something yes. and they no longer have it, but then they can make something or they can give you something that is very similar mm -hmm. or close to mm -hmm. it and it appease you just as well. So that is a big thumbs up on our category here. Um, and if this place is half as decent, I mean, the food is half as decent as the place here, I know it's going to be great. So looking forward to it. Um, this spot is located on Airport Boulevard. Yes. So we are in not truly downtown Austin, but you know, Austin, Austin. Uh, so it's off of Airport Boulevard and we definitely love this spot. Yeah, and actually the expressway is like literally right there. So even if you guys are downtown on 6th Street or wherever it may be, mm -hmm. and you just want some beer and just spend some time with your friends, definitely this will be the spot to come through after. It is. It just is. to relax and chill. I actually just messaged uh, some friends to see if they'll meet us up here. Yeah. Uh, so if you are watching this video when it's live, <laughs> know that I did text you, sir. So. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wait until the food gets here and yep. we'll talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. And just like everything else during this pandemic, they did have a QR code that brings you straight to their website and gives you all access to their menu so that you are ready and prepared to order when it's your turn. So our smorgage board has arrived. Oh yeah, guys, sorry. <laughs> Babe already started eating. I would have been able to order the rest of our food and I kept looking to my left. All the way down the hall, I could see her just I'm like, <laughs> it's really good. So the pretzels, the uh, the sausage, mm -hmm. it's really good. Then they have like some pickled vegetables with um, squash, cauliflower, red bell peppers, carrots, and green beans, and it's like a pickled um, vegetable with sauerkraut is on this board. So, yeah. So how was the food? Because you've been eating it since I it's been so out. Good. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Mm. That's cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, hope you can hear me. There's a spot that I took maybe for her birthday called Easy Tiger. And this kind of reminds me of Easy Tiger, except there's a lot more to eat here. Um, Easy Tiger has small bites um, to go with your, your your beer and things of that nature, but they really have food here, and um, it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. The sauerkraut is good. And I can eat sauerkraut by itself at any time. <laughs> so, this smorgage board came with several different things. Like she said, pickled vegetables, sauerkraut, there's a soft pretzel and sausage. And then various different dipping sauces. So, we ordered um, some deviled eggs. We also got a Reuben and some mango habanero wings. So, kind of get a little bit of everything that we have. So, you that, baby? <laughs> <laughs> that, oh yeah, thank you. As a matter of fact, the devil eggs are here. Thank you. Thank you. And um, it's not just enough to have great customer service. Their presentation is wonderful as well. That's okay, I'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about presentation and drop the entire thing. So these are the pickled double eggs. Mm. That's, that's my real taste tester right there because I, I eat pretty much everything. So you know, he does. She tastes stuff and she'll determine is it good or not. Me, I love it. So these are the pickled deviled eggs. Um, this is one of the shareable items as well as the smorgasbord. Oh, I didn't turn it off yet. <laughs> so the pickled egg, it has a smoky taste to it, smoked paprika, and. Um, it's good. It's really, really good. But it's so much better with the sauerkraut. So if you do decide to come, try the sauerkraut with the pickled egg. You can't go wrong. So overall, guys, so far the food is delicious. I love it. Yeah, and these are just appetizers we got so far. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so the wings have arrived. Guys. <laughs> 
reaction was priceless and I missed it. Mm. Guys, these wings are seasoned, okay? <laughs> Baby, these are good, okay? My compliments go to the chef. Oh. You get some everyday wings like the wing star, you know. No, 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 no. Somebody put some love in these wings. Okay. They did that. It's kind of spicy though, but it's good. Right, so she went to eat one of the wings and was like, um, it's a little spicy. And then no later than maybe 16 seconds, she was like, but they are seasoned to a <laughs> They are. Again, uh, another reason why Brutorium is really good. We said it before, little bites versus great food, and mm. that's what they offer here. So, this has been really good. It's really good. And our last, item, <laughs> <laughs> our last item has arrived. Thank you. And I got you the Mexican corn. Ooh. So we got a Reuben. And, um, this is a pretty thick sandwich. I mean, really thick. And we got some Mexican corn. So, we're about to dig into this. I'm gonna let y'all know how that tastes now. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. OMG. You know what, I'm done. Let me try, because I'm not a fan of Mexican corn anyway. Mm. Mm. Yeah, is that cheese? And look at, okay. look at cream sauce with Parmesan cheese on top. Sliced lemon, the sliver of lemon, like on the side. Guys, I'm in love with this shit. It's so good. So I don't eat Mexican street corn at all. Like it's not a side dish that I order. But that is good. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm about to go talk to the chef. Mm. Let me get his number. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this. We'll be right back. Mm. <laughs> so, after all of this food, I decided to grab another beer. This one is, what did I just say it was? Barley. <laughs> this is a Flamingo Bomb. Yeah. It's really good. And the first one I had was a Sacrificial Pants. That's why I couldn't remember it. There's a story behind it somehow. Uh, but everything that I've had so far has been really good. So, their beer is on tap. They have beers to go. Um, it's really good. Have you tried the sandwich yet or just the wings? Not yet. Bae's been eating while I've been ordering, so she, <laughs> she's been taste testing it all and it seems to be really good, so. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Oh. Guys, look how thick oh. this sandwich is. Get focused. <laughs> That's too much. You put yeah. it all in their face. Well, it wasn't focusing. It's still focusing on us. I want to focus on the sandwich, please. There it is. Now you can see. Sorry, my camera was doing something crazy, but that is a thick, hearty sandwich. Food's good. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm getting a half of the that one over there. You can have that one for yourself. Oh my. Baby, I don't even know if you wash your hands. This is COVID going on. You can ask me my sandwich. Uh -huh. I'm been, just saying. She been feeding me and I've been eating from her. She been eating from me. Now we get to the last item. She don't say, she don't know about washing my hands. <laughs> Ooh, it's too good to check who washed their hands. <laughs> mm. Mm. Fresh pickles. Mm. Sour crab. Man. This is good. 
Yeah. I am getting a shelf number before I leave here. Mm, she can have it. As long as I can get some food after I don't care. No! <laughs> as long as I can get some food after, mm -hmm. I don't care. How about that? Brutori. Mm -hmm. Gotta check it out. And the remnants of the food that remains. There was not one item that was not good at this place. So, Rutorium has a good outside seating area. They allow animals and all. I mean, it's beautiful out there. It's lit up at night. It looks great. I'm gonna show you, babe. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a beautiful establishment. Like you can't go wrong coming here. This is a this is a great place for friends and a great place by yourself. The whole environment is nice. What else can you say about this place? I don't think there was one thing that was not good. Thank you. Um, hands down, I would like to give a shout out, watch out man, to the manager of the establishment. Uh, great, great, above and beyond customer service. She came and checked on us. Very humble spirit. Yes. Um, <laughs> if anything, come for the atmosphere, come from the friendly environment. Yes. But Brutorium is definitely a spot that is now on our heart and hit list for Austin. Yay! <laughs>